at Scram again, I am going to show you how to do another biological unit structure. Um, this is one I did in a video the other day, but we've got some significant speed improvements to EPMD this week, so it's worth showing again. So if you can install EPMD, get it running, I've got version 0.5.102. It's got a little bug in it, which I'll show you how to overcome. We want to first prepare by clicking Options and turning off Center Molecule. And click Apply. And I'm working over a virtual machine here, so it's a little lag time. 3IYV is the molecule we're after. Click fetch, and then I just usually click something uh, such as the slider here to see when my okay when my GUI is back awake. Click coarse molecular surface, and nothing's going to happen because this molecule has a low resolution structure of only C alpha carbons which are spread far apart. Um, you can learn what, what those are in one of the other tutorials, the basic overview tutorials. So I'm going to set these two values, ISO value to 10.0 and resolution to negative 0 0.04. And again, you're not going to see anything in the viewport and that's because of the bug, which is when you adjust these sliders in the current version, um, 0.102 of EPMV, the effects don't take place until you stimulate it with uh, changing to a different color scheme or resetting the same color scheme. In this case, I'm just going to click chains. I got the wrong one there, so go click chains. Okay, we can see we've updated, and I'm going to zoom out. And you can see we've got some really clunky. Uh, coarse molecular surface here and what we want to do then is to update the resolution. So let's change this grid size parameter from 32 to let's just say 60. You can go a lot higher, higher than that. And again you have to uh, prompt that by, I'm just going to select chains again to, to make sure that takes effect and we've got a much finer mesh there. And then we're going to create the biological unit by clicking Edit, Biological Unit. And again, we have to type exactly what our molecule is. So uh, I was trying to scroll up there, but it's not letting me because this button has taken over, this box has taken over. But I know offhand it's 3IYV. It's a good idea to cut and paste in case there's a different naming scheme. And let's just zoom out so you can see the whole clathrin cage there. And because I'm working over the virtual network and recording with Apple's clumsy recording software built into QuickTime, it's a little slow. But um, I don't yet know how to bake textures or to render these textures so that they come out. I'm told that if you use the uh, the mental ray settings or bake the textures. These are color per vertex textures which you can see in the viewport. Um, if you can go ahead and post a video of your own showing other people how to do that, especially me, I'd be very grateful in 3D Studio Max. Thanks for your time.